right, so this is a common, more common question that's coming um, again and again. And so, dear Matsons, my son just told us that he would like to be addressed as a she, her from now on, mm -hmm. and is identifying as a girl. We are scared, sad, and concerned. Please help. We don't know what to do. Sincerely, identity in crisis. Mm -hmm. So first, we just want to say that this is a hard question, and it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel concerned. Um, this is an enormous shift in a, in a grieving process that happens for parents. And it's also a very complex situation. Mm -hmm. In my 20 years as a professional counselor, this has been something we've been addressing with parents like you and with kids like your son for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Though it feels like a, a bombarding of uh, common issues now, this has been happening for a long time. I just wanna say that God's not surprised that he's with you in this and he's gonna help you navigate mm -hmm. this long-term journey with your son. So I just wanna start there. Mm -hmm. And I think thinking about it in the long term is really important. You know, that uh, uh, this is a relationship that you have with your son. And affirming the fact that as a parent that that's a hard news to get. Um, and that creates a whole other set of challenges that you're going to need support for to mm -hmm. process in this space. So you want to have an outlet and a space where you can find that support and uh, to shoulder this journey with yeah. your son. Um, and that's what it is in their lifetime together. An important thing to remember too, that if your son, assuming that your son isn't yet uh, reached full adulthood, that he has a developing brain. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, depending on where he's at in his age, um, if it's under 24, that underdeveloped brain, not fully developed, is ill-equipped to make decisions like that fully and, to, and so, so uh, securely and so confidently. Uh, which is, again, what the world is trying to do, um, enforce that kind of mindset that, oh, sure, you know who you are, be yourself. I mean, there's shirts around there that, that we find all the time mm -hmm. that are uh, uh, proposing, uh, supporting mm -hmm. that kind of mentality. Yeah. And in reality, your brain's not fully developed. Yeah. Let's remember that. And that'll help you uh, with the long term, kind of the long view of this as in relationship with your son. Yeah, so you're saying get support for your own journey so you're not putting that on your son because he's got his own journey to work through. And we would suggest continuing that relationship. I think we see parents on both sides of the coin which are kind of more, um, there needs to be a consequence, we need to you know, distance ourselves, and that's coming out of fear. Tough and, love. Yeah, and honestly we just say that it is God's kindness that leads us to repentance and this idea that all of us, whatever we're struggling with, we need gentleness and we we need grace and we need kindness and we need love and that's what he's going to need in this process so be curious be willing to go to those places to ask about his journey mm -hmm. this wasn't an overnight decision yeah. and so there's uh, context and situations and possibly even trauma confusion hurt pain things that he needs to talk about and to process um, and then there's the other side of the coin where parents are like He's my son. I'm going to love him right where he's at, whatever. And so if he wants me to call him she, she he, or she, her, and um, is now mm -hmm. wanting to be a girl, we're going to go that direction. And we're just saying slow down mm -hmm. to not make any immediate decisions no. and to continue this process. And you may need some professional guides to come in and help you there. But this is something that is happening more and more, and there's yeah. a lot of uh, controversy around why it's happening more. Mm -hmm. We have some of our own biases, but we would say get resourced. And so here's a couple trusted resources that we mm -hmm. uh, refer to a lot. Uh, Preston Sprinkles is, um, he's actually a biblical theologian who's really wrestling and, and, and pressing into these topics of transgender um, and gender and sexuality. So you can look into his books. He's got several that really help uh, hold grace and truth and are helping parents just like you. Mm -hmm. um, another one is Jackie Perry, who's sharing a lot of her own journey. Um, and then we have a, a friend who we've really appreciated her story. She lived as transgender. She lived as a man for 11 years. Her name's Kathy Grace um, and Duncan. And you can listen to her uh, podcast on the Living Wholehearted podcast. She's been featured on Focus on the Family. You can Google her. She's got her story on YouTube. But just resourcing you with more and more stories that just help you to not panic mm -hmm. and to remember that um, this is a process to so stay engaged with your son. Continue to remain curious and uh, to hold the tension of love and truth. It's hard to do. Yeah, and you're going to need that help and support mm -hmm. in that journey to walk that distance with them. 
And that's the amazing thing about Kathy's stories is that she lived that way for a long time and then realized God showed up in a special way in her life and, and brought her back to um, the identity that God had given her in her early story. So she's walked that whole distance and has an amazing testimony. Yeah. And is helping parents like you as well, so has some that's great right. resources. All the resources that we've mentioned are linked in the description. Mm -hmm. And if you like this content, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we look forward to continuing this journey with you. Uh, you're the right parent for this job, and Tara and I are here cheering you on. Mm -hmm.